Check. One, two, one, two. G'day everyone, my name is Dave and today, today is Father's Day. Well, it's not Father's Day when you're watching this, but it is Father's Day when I'm recording this. So to all the dads out there, Happy Father's Day. Now I'm a dad to three daughters, so I wanna let all the dads out there know that being a good father will be the greatest accomplishment of your life. <laughs> there is not a chance I'm singing that good, good father song. Now today we're not talking about dads, we're actually talking about prayer, and specifically, I wanna give you a better way to pray. So roll the intro. If this is your first time on my channel, this is the place where I like to do short two minute devotions every Tuesday that help you take the next practical steps in your spiritual journey. So let's put two minutes up on the clock and get straight into it. So I'm sure by now you've noticed that when something bad happens in the world, people start posting these prayer hashtags to social media. We've seen hashtags like pray for Paris, pray for Dallas, pray for London, pray for Berlin, pray for Orlando, and pray for Las Vegas. Now I think these hashtags are great sentiments and I genuinely believe that the people who post them have been moved to pray for the people who have been impacted and affected by these incidents. I believe that people are authentically asking God to step in and they're begging him to do something about these situations. But I want to take a moment just to stretch your understanding of prayer. See the Hebrew word for prayer is tefillah and that word doesn't mean to ask or to beg, it actually means to self-evaluate. To the Jews of the Bible, prayer wasn't a time when they asked God, asked, asked. To the Jews of the Bible, prayer wasn't a time when they asked God for things. It was a time when they evaluated themselves. It was a time when they examined their actions and their behavior and their place in the world to see if they lined up with God's purposes. To them, prayer wasn't about words, it was about action. It was about doing something, saying something, changing something in an effort to bring God's kingdom here, to bring God's will to earth as it is in heaven. Prayer should always involve action about us doing things. It's like I've said before, we have to learn to pray with our feet. I did a whole video on praying with your feet a little while ago and I'll leave the link up there. Wait, it might be up there. Uh, it's gonna be up there somewhere. So we should pray, yes, but I believe that sometimes God wants us to get involved in the things we're praying for as well. And who knows, maybe he wants to use you to be the answer to someone else's prayer. And today I wanna to pray with my feet to actually do something to make a connection and get personal. So instead of just saying, I'm gonna pray for you, I'm actually gonna do it. So here's the deal. If you've been watching this and you need prayer, then I want you to text me on my cell phone anytime, 201-831-7155, and I'll respond personally, because prayer is personal. I'll make sure to leave my cell number in the YouTube description as well. And if you'd prefer, you can always leave a comment with your prayer request. Well, thanks so much for watching. If I don't get a text from you, then I'll see you right here next Tuesday.